Okay, so um, with regards to uh, St Paul's Carnival having an early curfew, kind of uh, defeats the object in a way. We're not Notting Hill Carnival, we're not any of these other ones. Uh, I think that's a really bad idea and it goes against what Carnival was set up to do, which is a big party and celebration for the whole community of St Paul's. I think both of them are a shame because um, it hasn't been going on for a couple of years, so now that it's coming back it does seem a shame to have to cut it short early. Um, well, it gets very congested here when the carnival's on. I mean, it's lovely. My suggestion would be to try and recite it in a local park or something where there was more space. Well, I think there's no point having uh, a carnival without an e with an evening curfew and without sound systems. And um, I'm, like, it's just saddened that it was off last year and it wasn't on this year. I think that's that's wrong because the last last carnival it was cancelled because of I think it was violence. We uh, have been going for was it 50 plus years and it is always wrong for us to be able to actually uh, cut it down when that's what it's all about us being able to actually party until the early morning and actually have a bit of a community spirit between everybody within the actual area until the early morning. Um, it's what gives this it's one of the things that gives this neighbourhood its identity. Um, and it's a unifying thing of all races and everything and I think it's really sad that it is not. And I think if you actually look at the amount of trouble that's created at St Paul's Carnival, on the last occasion there were only six arrests and we only hear about the bad things that happen and um, I think um, part of the reason people go to Carnival is to have a nice time at the sound systems and, and uh, enjoy being part of a community.